Good morning and welcome to hang out at Dome with Her World. So today we are live and today, oh firstly, Happy New Year everyone. Happy, happy, happy New Year. Happy 2019. Um, we are starting the year with um, being real. So this year Her World, Her World wants to get real. So um, guests on today's episode. Uh, which will cover on do we really need New Year's resolution? Do we really need New Year's? Let's get real about it. We have Nadia Heng, Hi guys. who is also my cover celebrity for January. If you not picked it up, please do. Don't get your copy. <laughs> <laughs> so Nadia is, was Miss World Malaysia 2010. She's a TV host, she's an MC, she's a model. Um, what else? <laughs> anything else? Uh, no, that's okay. Have, have you missed anything? No, no, okay. no you had to cut off. Okay, okay. and um, to my right here is Sibella. Sibella Ng is, let me get this right. I know she has a really cool name for her place. She is the lead consultant and co-founder for Tinkint. Yes, that's yeah. right. <laughs> yes. yes, you got yes. it right. Yeah. Okay, so they do child and family development. Uh, effective pedagogy, am I pronouncing yes, it right? Yes, pedagogy. pedagogy. <laughs> and strategies and comprehensive coaching and consultation. So Sibella is like our, our psychologist expert today. Uh, we do have one more guest, she's on the way. Uh, we are really excited to have her on as well. So don't worry, drive safe. If you are watching me, do not panic. <laughs> drive safe, get here safely, we're waiting for you. But we'll start first. So actually, our guest that's coming is Lisa Surihani. I think many of you already would know who she is. She is a popular Malaysian celebrity. And I think lately, Lisa is also jumping into being an advocate for a couple of things. She's also a UNICEF ambassador. So before Lisa gets here, um, I have to remember I've got a mic on me today that I cannot start getting too excited. <laughs> <laughs> so. Do we really need a New Year's resolution? Nadia? Do you know, I mean, I maybe call me old school, right? But I really do believe in them because I, I have had, I could show you later on, my diary. And every year, the, like, the last four years at least, I've always been writing my, my goals in there and I stick to them. So whether, I, whether I'm flexible um, is, uh, I think, is, is the most important part. So I try to be as flexible as possible so that I don't feel really disheartened at the end of the day when, you know, if I, if I don't achieve exactly what I want to achieve, it's totally fine. I think the, the key to know is that when you do write a New Year's resolution down is to make sure that you're flexible and ultimately it's going to be something that you really want to do that means a lot to you, right? So. Um, if you, if you decide like halfway through the year, you know what, I don't really care about tennis, scrap that off then, you know? So the, and that's what I mean by being flexible, yeah. yeah I, I believe, I totally so, believe okay. in them. Yeah. Nadia who totally believes in having a New Year's resolution. Yeah. Sibella? Um, I'm actually on the same page. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. So I do believe in setting, uh, resol in, in having resolutions. Mm -hmm. But um, for myself, just personally, I call them goals. Okay. So yeah. I don't actually just set a, a a resolution at the beginning of the year. Um, it can happen actually any time okay. throughout the year. Um, and I believe that um, as long as that goal is meant to help me be a better person, a better version of myself, to help me improve my skills, mm -hmm. I consider that just personally as a, a resolution to, to just do better, to improve yourself. Okay. Yeah. So I'm guessing that you don't believe in <laughs> resolution. <Yeah. laughs> well, I'm not, I mean like, you know, I had many years of having resolutions yeah. you know and i've noticed i think as i grew older because you know why as I, mature, <laughs> I realized that having a resolution sometimes me sometimes it's personal um may not apply to you but for me sometimes it feels like i'm setting myself up for certain disappointments oh you know? okay if yeah. you don't achieve your mm. resolution then yeah. you get to the next year or something i mean if we talk about New Year's yeah. resolution, where people say that you make a resolution at the beginning of the year, you try to achieve it throughout the year, right? Mm -hmm. And then at the end, you sort of like, hmm, did I reach? So I, I feel the need, for me, it changed to, if I wanted to do something, I needed to take 
action on it now. Now, yeah. uh, that's something I I've learned, yeah. and I I didn't and I prefer short term goals yeah. mm -hmm. rather than having a res like a new year year long resolution, yeah. which then be you know then it might fall through throughout mm -hmm. the year. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I do prefer short term goals. Yeah. Okay. Do believe in like if you really want to do something, you have to take action that moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Sibella, yes. Do we really need from uh, your experience a resolution? Really, yeah. Well, I think for a lot of people, a resolution um, can also signify a, a new hope. Okay. You know, like turning to a new page. Yeah, um, a new start, right? Yes, and you yeah. start afresh. And so a lot of people, I think, look forward towards the new year because, you know, for a lot of them, for a lot of us, actually, yeah. it's almost like, well, I can maybe start over. And ah, okay. Yeah. So I, I think that actually resolutions can be beneficial to, to some people um, as long as it's actually constructed in a realistic mm, yeah. and less ambiguous manner. Yeah, like so, don't yeah. put on your resolution like reach the moon or something like that, <laughs> la, you know, then, I mean, you know, that's what we Reach for the stars yeah, instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how do you get to the stars? Yeah. So, okay, okay. But a lot of people, once again, like I mentioned, right, they do it like at the beginning of the year. Should, should resolution actually have a timeline? Like, you know, does it need a timeline um, realistically? I mean, like, to be fair, I mean, I, I, I think, you know, you're talking about the psychology of, um, of having a New Year's resolution where everything is fresh, like you were saying, where it's sort of like a new chapter, a new beginning. Mm -hmm. I am a sucker for that and I, and I love the fact that, you know, at the end of the year, I'll do whatever I want, come December, eat whatever I want and just like really enjoy myself knowing that the 1st of December is going to be like a nice fresh start. However, mm -hmm. I do believe, I think, you know, in this day and age, you, you need to be, that's why I said flexibility is mm -hmm. so important. And you need to be able to know that what is a news resolution at the end of the day? It's setting, it's setting goals. Yeah. And to me, you can add, add on to those news resolutions at any point in time in the year. Um, I write mine down. And then, you know, throughout the year, if I think of other things that I want to do, I just add it onto that list, you know, or if I think of ways that I can help myself attain those goals, then I will sort of break down, okay, so these are some of the action things that I need to do. Um, and I think that you can, you know, you can do them at any point in time in the year. There should not be a specific, oh, it should only be done in January. Otherwise, you can forget about it, put it on the calendar for next year. Yeah. So. The other thing, okay, what about you, Sibella? Uh, do we need timelines for resolutions or can someone just say like, oh, this is my New Year's resolution and I'm going to just, or uh, not even New Year's resolution. Mm -hmm. This is my resolution in life or right. something. I think for some people, it helps them, you know, with a, a set guideline. For yeah. some people, um, at least there is a, I don't want to use a deadline, but at least, you know, it's um, almost like a, a goal that you're trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. So if I set for myself that I want to achieve um, a certain goal, uh, perhaps, you know, uh, lose a certain amount of weight uh, within the next six months, mm -hmm. it can be a motivating factor for right. some people. But personally, I don't think that it is a necessity. You don't have to set a timeline yeah. um, because for some other people, it could also mean time pressure. Yeah. And, and setting yourself yeah, up for yeah, that right. feeling yes. of failure, yeah. yeah, you know, and then you become more stressed, right. and then you know, then you have to deal with stress. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, uh, you have to deal with completing your resolution, <laughs> yeah. and then you deal with stress. stress. I'm like, yeah, ah. yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah. So I think one of the things for me was mm -hmm. that you know I didn't want to be sort of framing myself mm -hmm. into into like a trap. You yeah. know, why would I trap myself? Yeah. So last month we had an, an episode on bucket list. So one of the conclusions we came was that we shouldn't be fixated on having a bucket list, yeah. but we should start creating life lists. Oh, okay, like so that. a list yeah. that you would like to do things of you in, your life do in your mm -hmm. lifetime, mm -hmm. you know, rather than focusing on before you die, which is mm -hmm. quite, you know, morbid, morbid <laughs> you know, yeah. so we said that, you know, it should be that. And so it dawned on me like, okay, what's the difference between like people one minute, you know, at the end of the year, you're talking about bucket list, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Everyone's talking about creating your bucket list. What's yeah. on your bucket list? Yeah. 
you know, and then suddenly early in the year, everyone's talking about like <laughs> New Year's resolution, yeah. you know. Yeah. I mean, what do you think is the difference? Why do people, you know, have this idea, um, and what's the difference? I think. I mean, I think. I think it's. It's not necessarily a bad thing. In a way, it's a motivation for you to, um, to, to sort of kickstart yourself into like, let's not live in this little bubble and get eaten away by, you know, the vicious cycle of, of work, sleep, and eat. You know, it's kind of like a, a nice way to, to, you know, provoke your thoughts into thinking like, okay, what, well, what else is there to life? But I mean, in terms of like um, the difference between a bucket list and and you were saying and new and, resolutions. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess like a, a bucket list is, as you said, like in your lifespan. What yeah. what are some of your you know, your ideal things that, that you would love to, to do. Whereas news resolutions are more more immediate, as it were, right? It's more like, I feel like a news resolution to me is more like self-improvement and development and growth. Whereas bucket lists are, what would I, what would I like to see? You know, where would I like okay. to go? I'd like to see the pyramids. So those are not so much, uh, I don't know. That, that's my opinion. I feel like it's, that's a distinction. What about sure. you, Sibella? Um, I think for me, it, uh, the difference, the biggest difference I see between them is that with a bucket list, something that Nadia has also pointed out, um, with the bucket list, it, it doesn't really have a specific timeline. Mm -hmm. So, you know... But you know bucket list is supposed to be things you get done before... before well, done, right? at least, yeah, yeah the, the, the timeline is before you kick the bucket <laughs> <Yeah>. at least. <laughs> um, but yes, I mean, of course, you know, anything can happen to a person, um, sadly and unfortunately. But at, yeah, with a New Year's resolution, I think it's also more of like a short term mm. goals shorter term goals mm. compared to a bucket list or, or a life list yeah. um, so i think that also with a new year's resolution people are more determined to change a particular behavior but don't you think like mm -hmm. you know if you wanted to change something mm -hmm. just do it mm -hmm. i mean like for me I, I mean like you know i know it's easier said than done right just yeah. you know if you want to change mm -hmm. something just do mm -hmm. it but I do strongly believe as well, mm -hmm. if there were changes, when, I mean like, you know, if we wanted to wait for 1st January mm -hmm. to eat healthy or, yeah. or, but in all fact is that if we say we want to eat healthy, we should start today, right? right. We shouldn't That's wait true. till, yeah. you know, yeah. something or yeah. if you want to get fit, okay, I'm guilty as charged. Huh? I'm, not yeah. saying <laughs> that, I'm not saying that I'm all like, you know, this like do it and I will do it now. <laughs> still takes me time, yeah. you know, mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. but I do believe that, um, for me, it's reading a lot of books that has opened my eyes mm -hmm. and, and sort of made me understand the need to certain actions and what to do when, Right. but it took me a long, long time. Mm -hmm. I think it was last year that I watched this video of Will Smith did when he came on to Instagram oh. and he talked about how self-love is self-discipline. Mm. Yeah, and I think a lot of us say love yourself, mm -hmm. love yourself, mm -hmm. love yourself, yep. but we don't actually yeah. have right. yeah have the discipline right. for it. Yep. That mm -hmm. is the that is the worst thing actually. So it, it really sparked in me, and I mean, had to be last year that I turned forty as well. So it really sparked in me that oh my god, like at forty that I finally learned that to love yourself doesn't mean just indulging. about right. indulging yep. or or making time for your friends, and it yeah. really is the the other part of it is yeah. the discipline part. If yes. you don't be disciplined mm -hmm. and continue to do certain things, yeah. you are just the same thing, now, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, but I want to ask you guys if there's anyone watching, and if you have any questions, you can uh, comment on our Facebook, um, and maybe you want to share with us what should be on a new, new year's resolution list i personally don't have a list mm -hmm. um what does your current list look like? but you, you said that you believe in you know if you want to do something you do it now mm -hmm. so where do you put the, those thoughts i have, think like, for me one of the key things it's not so much reaching goals because i already have 10 million projects that I have to, <laughs> you know yes. but, yeah. what about but your it's that it's personal is learning to be self self disciplined you know because when i say i want to do something sometimes i don't start right yeah. away i see her hi hi, hi. Oh. hi. Uh, oh. sorry lisa hi, hi. i'm 
Lisa. Hi, Sabella. One minute, Lisa, you need to be... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> she will be back. She's here. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure they can still hear you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, so so one of the things for me is learning to be self-disciplined. You know, um, I always say I want to get more fitness in. Mm -hmm. I want to, I want to, you know, get more work done when I'm at the office. Because in all honesty, when I'm at the office, I really don't get a lot of work done right. because I have constant sort of someone coming to see me yes, or, yes. or you yeah. know replying emails. Mm -hmm. So. There's, and there's another bulk of work that actually needs to get done. Yeah. So, you know, so I'm learning to... Balance. Not just... I, I hate... I mean, you, you know, we... <laughs> like, I don't know. Balance is a tricky thing, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm, yeah. Because I think you get what you get when you can get. That, that's sort of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? So for me, it's reshifting my schedule. Uh, camera and live is on the phone. All right, okay. Yes. <laughs> Lisa's here. Yeah, happy New Year. Okay. Oh my God. I live in Timbuktu. <laughs> she had to fly here yes. to get here, you know? Oh, yes. Glad that you're here. Sorry? Glad that you're here so safely. Yeah, yes. Sorry, Lisa, Sibella, Sibella, yes. Lisa. Hi. Uh, Sibella is our um, expert, mind expert for today. Mind expert? And all her psychologists. Mind and behaviour expert. Ah, yeah. I see. Oh no, uh, I can't read minds, but... The first thing I said to Nadia, I said, don't worry, we are not psychoanalyzing you today. No, we're just <laughs> hanging out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm loving the topic today. Yes. Which is, should we or not have a resolution, right? So, yes, and they have found out that Ina is not so much a New Year's resolution okay, list like, kind of person. Right. Nadia is, Sibella is also New Year's resolution person. But she's more about reaching goals. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you? So we absolutely honest mm -hmm. with you for, the, for, for my whole lifetime I've never had resolutions until this year oh, oh what so I've always what changed? Like, yeah um, I, I, I think I don't know I, I, I think it's a number of things like it's maybe age maturity um, what I've gone through in the recent years um, before I never actually really believed in the notion mm -hmm. of resolution I right. thought that was one of those things where it's sort of like do you sort of just say it and then you don't end up doing yeah. it? Mm -hmm. You end up breaking it or mm -hmm. whatever. Like, yeah, I mean, it's one of those things just to entertain yourself. Right. Yourself, you know. Yep. But um, um, in the recent years, I suppose you know, with various kinds of experiences, mm -hmm. good and bad, um, yep. highs and lows, um, it came to a point where I felt that it was driving me to wanting to do something mm -hmm. to change and improve yeah. a lot of the aspects of my life, mm -hmm. like. Um, and, and, and it falls in various layers and, and, and um, uh, in compartmentalizing all of the different aspects in how to get it sorted. So, yeah, my resolution is actually to, I mean, I, I have the lack of the better, lack of the better sentence. I, I want to reorganize and sort out my life. Hmm. And, 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 and it's the easiest way for me to say it. But, you know, one may think, you know, like, what's, what do you mean by reorganize and sort out your life? And it's like... I, I, I think I'm very um, organized in the other aspects of my life, like outside with work and stuff mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. I'm super organized and super this and whatever, yeah, yeah. but not necessarily with the household. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I know that it's the new craze in the, in the recent time, right. like like um, in this recent week, everyone's talking con about Yeah, everybody's yeah. talking mm -hmm. about it, right? And everyone is what? What's the word? con marrying, is it? Yeah. Yeah. con marrying. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, but the thing is like, you know, for the past few months, like if I always told myself that I gotta sort this out, I gotta sort that out in the house. I mean, just in the house, right? Um, and I've, I kept on putting it off, mm -hmm. and uh, it came to a point when I was just sort of like, look, you know what? I don't know how to. I do. I actually don't know how to do this. Like you know, so to a certain degree, that show helped me a great deal. Mm -hmm. um, I've learned how to sort of at least get it started, and what's the system that I've I've, I've applied already started and I feel a lot better already like yeah. like like I feel like when you're when when you have good energy in the house yeah, yeah. you know it, yeah. it helps with firm everything. believer yes. in that I think yeah. it's also when you have the sense of accomplishment mm -hmm. oh yeah I mean even if you manage to clean a whole cupboard out or something like that <gasps> the sense of accomplishment already makes you feel lighter yeah. yeah 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 it's euphoric in a way when when once that's done you know what I mean like but but I think the, the, when you're going through the processes and in understanding what truly 
makes you happy not just a matter about it, it's not simply about eliminating or or doing away i think yeah. it's really asking yourself what is what is what it what truly makes you happy and what really helps you in in your life right. afterward yeah. or in the future yes. so i i, I kind of like that concept yeah. and yusri and i are also in in a better place right now because he's involved with the process because Aww. back in the day like like yeah because before usually i'm doing everything yeah. and, and i'm sorting out everything yes. and etc so yeah. but this time i i before we started i i sat down with him and i said that i really need you on board with this like did he watch the show with you and um, like not at first oh, okay oh, not at yeah. first and he was like what the hell are you doing <laughs> <laughs> you know like why are you talking about this i'm saying don't know blah 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 and i said no like, i mean let's let's just try yeah. and watch yeah. it together come on you know yeah. like, like let's just yeah. try and and maybe you can see where i'm coming from yeah um because he was like because when i was telling him what i, I what i wish to do what my resolution was for the year and and he was surprised because we've been married for almost seven is years is it very now. personal can you tell us what it is yeah yeah i oh. mean i mean we've been married for almost yeah. seven years and 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 I've, he he knows that i never have resolutions right okay, yeah. and then when i sat down with him and i said i actually have a resolution this year oh. and he was like whoa <laughs> is it like come? one resolution or many 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 resolutions i think i think it's uh, You could count it as one resolution, mm-hmm. but I think it is something for me to fulfill throughout the year. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then apart from that, like right. you know, like I, 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 I'm able to decide what I truly want to do with for the year. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, and that's, I think that comes with maturity. Like, I yeah. think when you, uh, um, and 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 I feel that the resolution that I've set for myself um, requires the the implementation apart yes. from just seeing it yes. loud, you know, yeah. obviously. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, like I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. And it has to do with organizing the household, basically. Is essentially. I didn't. Yeah. That, I didn't realize how, when you get your life in order in the house. Right. Yeah. It affects. In the house, it affects like like it, it it's like a domino effect with everything yes. else. You know, like I come back home and I'm like, oh gosh, I've been staying here for almost seven years. And yet, mm. I do not feel settled. Yeah, so that that's what I was saying. You know, I'm I'm a believer of getting things, trying to get things done, as you think about it. Mm-hmm. Because I've been through so many years of my life where I say I need to get this done, I need yeah. to get that mm-hmm. done, yeah. and you don't because you get easily distracted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Netflix one of it, you know. <laughs> life happens. Yeah, you know. Life happens. Been there, right? so, so you don't get right to it. But what I learned last year was that, you know, as lazy as I get mm-hmm. or as many excuses as I can come up with if I just get going I automatically feel better before mm-hmm. I can even get things done mm. so I never really practiced it that's why I said for me if there was one sort of thing that I need to achieve this year is self-discipline mm. Mm. you yeah. know because mm-hmm. I think self-discipline um, is the key to a lot of happiness yeah, yeah. oh absolutely yeah mm. I mean, as much as you know, we we used to like you know rebel against discipline as teens, right, right? Right. As teens, we rebel. Okay, lah. But maybe not. I rebel. I like nawas the whole time. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> but now we know why it's good for us, yeah. right? I mean, yeah, the older you get, then you realize yes, the discipline of doing get then until <laughs> until I was forty last year to understand that oh, loving yourself means you have to be disciplined with yourself. But mm-hmm. how does that actually? How do I incorporate that? Yeah. There's a certain feeling of contentment I feel that yeah. when when everything is in order, like yeah. wh- and and it's in order pursuant to your own yes, practice yeah. and your own actions, yeah. it it kind of puts you in a, pl- a good place, right? right. But like, but then again, like I have kids, so not all the time things are going to go like your way, your right? way. Yeah. Okay. Um, and and learning to be okay if things don't go your way mm-hmm. was a big thing. Yeah. Yeah. Sibel, you train a lot of people. What do you see? I think that. As much as we hate to admit it, a lot of people, um, humans, we like structure. Yeah. Um, and I tell this to to parents, to educators. Um, you know, from from a very young age, children thrive when they have structure, when they have routine. Mm-hmm. And so, in the same way with yeah. humans, with us, um, again, for some people, they're like, oh no, I, I work on my own time. You know, I, I don't really like a set routine. Mm-hmm. But no, to an extent, we actually thrive better when there's structure. So you know, structured to to the way we do things, mm. um, and that also helps to build discipline, as what yeah. you mentioned. Because discipline 
Um, I mean, the schools just made it like a bad word, lah. You know, you say discipline, you're yes. like, oh, <laughs> rotan. <laughs> I want to be free, yeah. you know. Spot on. Actually, yeah. there's a certain negative connotation to the, the word, word discipline yeah. when yes. we're in school. Yes. Like sort of like when you say, oh, the fella needs to be disciplined. You yes. know, like there's a certain yeah. tone to it. Yeah. But actually, it brings out a lot more positivity yes. yeah. than we realize. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, that can actually change because, yeah, like you mentioned. Discipline should not be equated with something that's negative because yeah. discipline can actually bring us to a, you know, help us to thrive better in life. There's something that you mentioned about um, uh, being productive, right? And you know, I, I find that when you don't know where to start and you don't know, you know, you, you feel like chaotic, maybe your household's not in order and everything's not going according to plan, but there's one thing that I, I consistently find is that whenever I have that sentiment productivity generates productivity so well, the minute you start doing something even if you just start with the dishes while you're doing the dishes somehow like that's that's the only way to get myself oh, moving once I start I clean the whole kitchen it's, it just it's start, <laughs> yeah. see yeah. so you, you you get stuff done or it just it's all a matter of, of, of starting on at least one thing and the rest will sort of follow suit. So your body kind of gets yeah. attuned to it and then before you know it, you know, you don't start. You just, the problem is when you, when you start thinking too much about it and all these excuses start coming to mind, you know? So, yeah. I, I, I kind of have a point to add to that as well. Yeah. Like, like, I kind of get it because like, in, in my case, like where the household is concerned, it's not that, I'm, it's not that it's like a hottest house. Right. It's not that there are mountains of things everywhere, mm -hmm. but there are a lot of things that I'm like, oh, okay, I may want this. I hide, I, I sort of hide, I keep it stored somewhere or whatever, mm -hmm. but I don't touch it for years, yeah, right, yeah. naturally. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, I kind of felt that, you know, why, why am I, why am I doing that sort of thing? Because I, I don't realize it subconsciously. It's like kind of in the, at the mm -hmm. back of my mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, which is why the processes yes. in actually, you know, starting, like, you know, when, when, when Ina was mentioning earlier about, like, you know, um, putting off uh, uh, certain things, like, you know, you just don't start. Yeah. I gained a lot of weight from my pregnancies, like, a lot. Like, like, like I, I was literally overweight. And then um, after my first pregnancy, it was sort of like, oh, I have to do this, lah. Mm -hmm. I have to juggle my makan. I mm -hmm. have to exercise, lah, whatever, whatever. But obviously nothing happened. I just, it was just at the back of my mind. Right. And how it started was just when I was out with the family. Um, I just walked into a gym studio and registered. Mm, yeah. I was out with the family for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> we were, the agenda was Fair different. <laughs> it was to go out and family time, whatever, right. whatever. I just saw a gym and I just like, I just, I just did it. And, yeah. and, then, and then when I signed in, I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to do it now. Now that I've signed in, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, signed up, right? Yeah. So, yeah, sometimes, you know, you but just have to. But did it take a before you actually got to the gym? Oh, you were there like next the day. The next day. Um, oh, oh, well, that that was pursuant to the yeah. scheduling okay. and you know, whatever, you know. So, so yeah, and then I went anyways, lah. You know, when when the scheduling was yeah, because, set. Yeah, you know, I went through life where I signed up for a gym and then like. Oh, is it? Every month when <laughs> I free. for it, going like, oh my god, what was I thinking? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it didn't. You know? It didn't yeah, make, it make you pack your bag the next day and go to the gym. No, <laughs> it didn't. That's the really? thing, you know. Yeah. Because I didn't understand that notion of. Yeah. Like I said, it took me so long yeah. to understand self-love was mm. really about you being self-disciplined with yeah. yourself to achieve what you want. Yeah. Mm. And mm. therefore, mm. it equals to loving yourself. Yeah. Not just like going to the reflexology yeah. or going to makan, to yeah. dab, yeah. or you know, or getting pampered or getting a good facial. Or, yeah. It's you know? a lot more than what you do yeah. for the exterior. It's yeah. a lot it's more a lot. than what you do about the physical body. When, mm. Yes, nice, go massage, feel good facial look good after that yes. but at the back of your head you're still worrying it's like my god i've been paying for the gym membership <laughs> oh my god my weight hasn't gone up i mean that was me mm. you know mm. but now okay lah, maybe i'm not still so good with this fitness thing but mm. whatever chance i do get i make it a point and yeah. i know myself so i know that i don't have the discipline so i have to i have to like pair up with someone mm. okay i have to yeah. like have a buddy Mm. So I've known, I, I learned that about myself, right. so if I promise a buddy, I will show up. Mm. I promise myself, maybe I not show up, but, right. <laughs> <laughs> but I, guess, I guess you know but what works I, for you. Yeah. Yeah. I figured out what works, so yes. I always make sure that if I want to do something and I'm iffy about it, right. yeah. I'll hook someone up. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then when that person says, okay, then I'll be like, locked in. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I have to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sort of thing, but I get there. And then yeah. I feel yeah. so much more better after yeah. that. Mm -mm. You know? So I'm trying to learn ways that I can avoid not talking myself <laughs> into doing the things that I really want to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes it's just all in the mind, like yeah. lying down in bed and saying, I should get up. <laughs> yeah, I should get up. Like this morning. <laughs> I'm kidding. 20 minutes later, it's like, now I only have 10 minutes to get ready. Right? You know, sort of, sort of thing, right? So I've learned that. Uh, That's why I say, like, you know, for me, it would be that. And it's not so much having a resolution. I'm not so much a resolution person. Okay. Because, only because I prefer short term goals. Right. All right, yeah. Um, you know, so short term achievable goals. Right. And, um, I'm just curious that what happened in the past, like what was it, um, when did you officially like give up on New Year's resolutions and what was it because, no, what I happened? Never, I mean like, you know, when we were teenagers in school, every yeah. year we say we do this, like a long list mm -hmm. of what I want to do this year, how many A's I want to get and all that. Yeah. So, so, so it was like a long list, it like, wasn't you know, just it was a, a couple of things. things. That you would do, but yeah. this was really when I was a teenager in yeah. school nice. and then you go off and then you don't really write a list, you have a mental list like, okay, this year I maybe need to get this done or that done. Yeah. You know? And then and then slowly, I think when I started doing the magazine and yeah. reading a lot of articles and learning a lot more about women and reading a lot more books, I realized how much power there was in, in the will to do it, to do things as and when you decide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because rather than putting it in the list and then I will, oh, it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's still there. Yeah. But I do lists every yeah. day. So don't don't get me wrong. I right. make a list every morning. Mm -hmm. right. Things I need to get down yeah. throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Right. So I make, that's why I say it. Um, but those are your work every day sort of lists. Those I are should not start doing that. I do a daily like list. Like yeah. daily yeah. Yeah. I do a daily yeah. list. So mm. what I do is I list, like if I get into the office, I make a list. Okay, this. I need to write this story, I yeah. need to call this person, yeah. email, mm. get this done, get this done, get this done, mm. and I tick throughout the right. day. Yes, yeah. so it's like a check, daily checklist. Yeah, yes. a daily checklist, mm -hmm. and then whatever that doesn't get ticked off, moves to the next day. I see. By what priority. About, yeah. I'm actually exactly the same way. Yeah. So oh, in my planner too, I have a daily like a to -do list. daily to-do list, and yeah. I check them off. And for me, that's, you know, it, it makes me happy. Yes, very yes. satisfying when I check them off. Because it's just celebrating the mini goals that you set for yourself for the day. And you feel, I mean like, yeah. and when I miss having the, like, you know, some days I get in, I'm late or I yeah. go to an event before I come in and I miss that. Yeah. I really feel kind of like, like oh my god, you, you kind of get thrown off because yeah. mm. did I get that done? Did I get this done? Mm. And you forget a lot of things, especially yeah. like, for me, like one Drag day I probably have all. like, <laughs> yeah. Mm. You know, and, and sometimes my writer says, do you remember, you know, you said, no, no. I said, no, unless I wrote it down, oh. it would be kind of like delete yeah. by night time. Yeah. Yeah. Because I start, I start afresh, I can't contain so much, yes. right, right, right. Yeah. you know, information anymore. I imagine our memory bank in our heads like shelves. Like, like you know, like when news, something new comes in, then this other drawer opens up and then, yeah. and, then, and, it, and then whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, or <laughs> I think it's pushed just exits out and then you're just like and then somebody says you remember when da 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 it's no. like that with secrets with me no honestly like when my girls like come out like, the job, babe do you remember when we told you da 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 and I'm like when was this <laughs> <laughs> and they're like Lisa <laughs> like Lisa we told you this before and I'm like really and, 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 which is why like a lot of my friends love telling me secrets because I forget them <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't it's keep safe, them. It's safe, yeah. no, it's, but I don't keep them. I genuinely forget. Yeah. So when they're telling me, it's like something new to me. Yeah. And then they're like, you don't remember da 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 da. And I'm like, what, what, what was this? I didn't, you didn't tell me. So why am I always the last to be updated? Da, da, da. And they're like, girl, you were there. You know? We have pictures. <laughs> pictures already didn't happen. And now we have Facebook. Sorry, I just don't remember them. You know, like, um, but but actually, hearing your stories and your sharing and all that, it's it's given me new inspiration. I think on what I could do to help me. There, there's actually a story that I heard from a cousin of mine. This was actually years ago, and they have an, uh, a friend, a, an auntie friend, who's about 90 plus. But you'd be surprised that she's 90 plus. You would assume that she's quite, you know, like 
fragile, forgetful or whatever, but she was at the top of her game, A game, all the way, like like 90 plus tall. And then we, I was so taken by, by her because my cousin introduced her, oh, this is auntie so-and-so, da, da, da. and I'm just like, auntie, I'm so taken and so, so, I mean, it really warms my heart to see how you are and you're 90 plus, it's such an inspiration. I mean, like, do you mind sharing, like, what's your secret, what are your tips, da, 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 da. And then she kind of mentioned about this whole, like, day-to-day -day thing where, where she's sort of like, rather than boggling yourself and yeah. with, with so much um, load or baggage or whatever, daily, let me tell, okay, what do I have to achieve? What do I have to do? Da, 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 da. But she winds down by um, speaking to her husband before they go to sleep about what they've done throughout the day. Apparently, it's mental stimuli. It's like a good close to the day and say, you know, like, let's hope we, I mean, see you tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> you know, I mean, that sort of thing. You know, like, she had a good sense of humor. And I was just sort of like, huh, I've never actually started that with, with my husband. But I think, you know, like, it'd be nice to sort of, yeah, but maybe it would be nice, like, you know, to end the day and you're, you're having your, not necessarily pillow talk, but it's sort of like, how did you day, your day go today? But do you not do that when you go home? Um, not every night, like it's just sort of like, you know, like, what do you have tomorrow? Oh, I have this, 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 this. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, lah. Sleep. Okay, good night. <laughs> but that's another thing that I'm just, I, I mean, like I said, it always takes self-discipline. So I started like, you know, you know how Oprah always says, write a get gratitude list and blah, blah, blah. So I started this year. I started, huh. you know, with a gratitude. Every yeah. uh, night I would write five things I was grateful, I'm grateful for, for that day. Yeah. Right. And then I started, and then, okay, I'll be honest, I missed two days already, you know, because I've been really bogged down, so I'll go home, get showered, blah, 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 and I just want to hit the bed. But then I realized that, you know, when you write a gratitude list, you'll be surprised what you put down as the things that you were thankful really? for. Really? Okay, could you give us examples? Because, like, you know, initially I was thinking, like, oh my God, I have to put, like, really great things. Profound you know? stuff. <laughs> Profound great things that I did and I'm grateful for, yeah. you know? So it's that, it sort of started like that. Mm. And, then it were, and then it got simpler to, like, oh, the five minutes chat with my daughter. Mm. Oh, how, you know, oh, um... Mm. The other day was that um, that talk with Lisa that I spent I think almost an more hour. than an hour oh, on the phone yeah. with Lisa. Yeah. You know, I, you know because when you reflect back, it wasn't so much like I you know wrote a, a thousand words today or something. Yeah. I'm grateful right. yeah. that I had the idea to write. Yeah. No, it wasn't so much that. It was really the things, the that, little things, the little things, things yeah. that. I knew that I wanted to remember. Yeah. Oh my God. So, you know, so that was important for yeah. me. So even the fact that I could get up in the morning and make breakfast mm -hmm. for myself to bring to work or yeah. I made my own lunch day. Because then I realized like, oh my God, you made the effort for yourself. Yeah. You know, it was not so much making the effort for A, B, C, D, D. It is really yeah. showing that you are, you know, being your, you love yourself. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I did that. I'm like, okay, um, glad I could wake up on time. One. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Made myself lunch to bring to office. Okay, that sounds good. Because yeah. I was proud that I could yeah. make myself lunch or, or had the 40 minutes chat with Lisa, you know, yeah. what, what, um, you know, what was, up, what came out of it mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and laughing with my kids or, or, um, drive, being able, you know, have even, the other day I said, I wrote down, having the means to take care of my kids. Because I think sometimes I also take for granted just because yeah. I can go out and buy Ubat for her if she's coughing. Mm -hmm. You know, actually, mm, when you look at it, because by way of perspective, by way of perspective mm. there might be moms that can't even go out yeah. and buy cough syrup because your daughter is coughing yeah. you know so for me I put that down because it was so important at that moment that I was privileged enough to have the means yeah. to take care of my sick child oh my god this is but I think that's this is a really good a yeah. good practice even especially yeah. like the, the sh story that you shared about the 90 year old yeah. woman mm -hmm. because at the end of the day a lot of people they complain about not being able to fall asleep mm. that's because there's so much going on yes. in their head yeah. so by just reflecting on the day even coming up with a, a, a gratitude, gratitude list, list. Yes. Um, it, helps so you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it helps you to unwind and it actually does affect your physiological self right. because oh. that's when 
it increases more feel-good hormones like dopamine, serotonin, instead of getting all the stress hormones to be... So, I have a question yeah. then. Should we be doing our to-do list for the next day at night? Because yeah. it's like yeah. the completely opposite of, yeah. of a gratitude yeah. list, right? Because you just yeah. So do you get it all oh yeah. out? Mm. Yeah, I yeah. When, when when do you actually write actually, your daily checklist? I do checklist? my list before I leave the office. Okay, so it's oh, in the deep. morning. Okay. Yeah, no, mm. before I leave the office. So I, I oh, the, the day, day before, before you buy yeah. it. Ah. Yeah. Because usually yeah. my list is around is all work. about work. Right, right. You know? it really revolves around work. Right. So before I leave the day, I write down mm -hmm. okay things to do. Yes. And it and because I have what I didn't get to do the day before mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. I sort of reprioritize. So, yeah. okay, if I didn't get to email so-and-so, that goes at the top of the list the next yeah. day, right. so that I know once I come in, that's the yeah. first thing I need to do, mm. email so-and-so. Yeah. That needs to go out. Yeah. I think that's a good habit. Again, yeah. because at least you're wrapping up work yeah. there and then, and then you go home, and you're present and you're mindful when you're with your family. Actually, you now that yeah. you say that, can I look at it for the past weeks, mm -hmm. It has made me feel a lot more complete, mm -hmm. and when I miss doing that, yeah. I'm in shambles. Right. Your to-do like, list. You so mean yeah. if you miss doing it? You're able to wear your hats accordingly. Like yeah. my time, okay, yeah. with yeah. work, you're, you're, yes. you've got that sort of ironed out it's not in a way. Things sort of like yeah. meshes yeah. into yeah. each yeah. other, and then I'm just like I'm exhausted. That's an I, do like wanna, a I do want to ask though, because you know you're saying that you do your to-do list, but what about overarching goals? Because I still feel you know when it comes to New Year's resolutions. I mean, I have my everyday to-do list and yeah. I do that, you know, there's yeah. always there's always things that you need to get done personally or for work. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I feel like New Year's resolutions, to me, what the significance that it brings is that it's also, it's not just about like achieving certain things, it's about, you know, on my New Year's resolution list, I have things like, you know, to, to be more conscious um, of like, for example, my lifestyle choices when it comes to being eco-friendly, okay. yeah. yeah. you know, yeah. when it comes to being more patient, uh, with with with, uh, with certain things um, and, and and so it's not just necessarily like uh, quantifiable to, things yeah. you know it's not like oh I need to I need to buy a house or something yeah, yeah, not yeah, necessarily yeah. stuff like that but Absolutely. but about qualities I, I that you want you. so I do you have a list like that that you I think think for me it, it's not usually I, I don't put it on the list mm. kind of thing like um, like my son um, started you know he got us all recycling so now it's just a habit we turned it into a habit oh, okay. you know yeah. and then I worry because I see how much trash we use and then I'll be like whoa okay yeah. and then you know it's sort of things like that so yeah. it's um, I wouldn't say it's a resolution yeah. because like like you you know we probably I mean it's okay to disagree you know we don't yeah. fight it's, <laughs> it's not even a disagreement it's just how we yeah. view it yeah. 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 yeah so for me it's like okay um, I do want to do all those things that you yeah. say, you know, I do want to treat people better, I do want to be kinder, I do want to give more, you yeah. know, but it's not on a list, okay. that's all, okay. really, it's, it's, yeah. it's part of the life I want to create yeah. for myself, yeah. it is a lifestyle, therefore it, for me it's just not on a list, right. it's just there, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm really quite impacted by the conversation that we're having today, especially about gratitude. Like, that's a really great tip. Like, you know, like, usually people, like, you know, say, kita kena bersyukur, we must always be thankful for or whatever. How are we actually practicing that? You know, macam, I, I've been asking myself in these recent times, like, macam, bersyukur lah, alhamdulillah, whatever. But do, am I really, truly practicing to its true essence of its meaning, if that, if that makes any sense? Like, you know, when you were saying about how, like, Sometimes it's the little things that you, you that that you you feel thankful for, and I was just like, my gosh! And yesterday, before we 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 went to bed, like Yusri and I, we were like, we were we weren't putting it in the list what we were thankful yeah. for, but we were sort of like sort of talking to each other about, gosh, you remember how I did uh, my second, my number two? Where he doesn't he hasn't uh, he hasn't talked yet, but it's just that he's very very shy, extremely shy, like and and. It was really nice to see him yesterday, how he was going like, uh, Yusuf, mana Yusuf? And he goes, Dah. And it, it's little things, right? But it was just, it, it impacted me so much, just seeing how he was reacting to what we were saying. Yeah. And he was going, randomly going, Tada! With a little <laughs> swag as well. Tada! You know, Tada! Over again. And, and yeah, so both Yusuf and I, we were like, 
Oh, just now, Adik going tada, it was so cute lah. In the way he smiled dengan gigi dinosaur there. We, we, we say gigi dinosaur, so, but he's, he's got the pacifier on all the time. So his teeth has already been <laughs> shaped a certain way. And he's into dinosaurs now, dinosaurs now. that's his face. And we were saying that how his teeth is like very much like a bronchosaurus-ish like now. And then we're, yeah, and then I kind of like that. It, and clo winding down with sharing what we were happy about that day, was a really good finish to the day and I slept like a baby. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and thank you, thank you for that because I, I want to well, make it a habit. Because she's kind of like the one that, you know, and I always joke and everyone, I mean, like in my family knows that, or I joke that Oprah is my guru. So I think she's a lot of... And Oprah since too. I was, <laughs> yeah, totes. I've been watching Oprah since I was eight, so probably yeah. she's like, really is like my guru. 